Hi, I'm Ray Balzer with Aim Pro Billiards. Let's discuss some aiming errors related to stance and perception. But first, let's put this in perspective. To aim, you first need a target for the object ball. I covered that in the Aiming the Object Ball video. Watch it to see where the object ball should go. Next, where should the cue ball hit the object ball given the object ball direction objective? The starting point for the answer is that the object ball should be contacted at the point on it furthest from the target. I show that point in my Aim Right Aiming 30 Degrees and Less video and in the Aim Right Method Overview video. Then, that point is modified slightly based on the interaction of the cue ball with the object ball. Spin and friction are the issues. But that's all too complicated for this video. For beginners, those effects can be ignored on the table with half table shots and ignored completely in the Angles Challenge 101 game, which does not use throw or spin. How do you aim so that the cue ball hits the contact point? We'll assume you hit the cue ball in the center, avoiding squirt, swerve, and throw, which are sources of error and are more advanced topics. There are many options. Watch my video on Aim Right Aiming 30 Degrees and Less, and also my video Aim Right What's That Cut Angle Part 1 to learn the definition of the cut angle of a shot. And if you play the Angles Challenge 101 game, you will get constant feedback on the correct sight picture for each cut angle, with the object ball always correctly being targeted to the correct pocket location. Given all of this, how do we actually proceed? Professional instructors advise to aim and align while standing behind the shot, then go down on the shot and be in perfect alignment. If you're like me, that rarely happens. I'd never get a shot off if I waited for that to happen. There are several issues. The next chance you get, try this experiment. With just the cue ball on the foot spot, shoot it into a far corner pocket. And not just any place in the pocket, but an exact point. Now, shoot a spot shot and compare and try it from near the head spot or thinner. For most, it's a very different experience. They don't know exactly where to aim, so they don't know exactly how to align when they are standing. I'd suggest several things. Learn the sighting for shots while standing so that your starting position is more precise. I recommend the Angles Challenge 101 game, which presents known cut angles, and you can view the exact alignment for each of up to 32 cut angles while both standing and while addressing the ball, and can easily go back and forth to compare and learn. Personally, I learned that I tend to align to overcut shots in the standing position, and when I, when I settle on the shot, I have to correct that, and sometimes I don't. On the pool table, I tend to more often miss by overcutting, and I think it goes back to my standing alignment. I'm slowly learning to overcome this using the Angles Challenge 101 game. I align while standing and go down on the shot and decide I'm overcutting. I stand back up and adjust the aim and study the shot picture, and then go back down and finish the shot. Next, it's asking too much to go down on the shot fast, exactly, and mechanically. Slow it down. Most people's perceptions of the cut angle are best at lower heights, so move down on the shot slowly and gently settle with small adjustments into perfect alignment. Only get up if the adjustment is too large to be comfortable. One technique that helps some is to align the cue stick with your head early in the process and settle in with the cue stick aiding the alignment. 
the earlier the stick is in position relative to the head and eyes, the earlier you can be accurately tuning your alignment as you settle. And maybe even more importantly, you should also try to have your head and eyes on the shot line as long as possible. Some advise that it be on the shot line during the entire process from standing behind the shot all the way to addressing the ball. Now let's talk about overcuts versus undercuts. To shoot accurately, you have to know where to aim, have good mechanics for a repeatable high accuracy stroke, and good alignment and vision and mental training for aiming. Now let's talk about the latter and patterns of shot making errors, specifically overcutting and undercutting. Do you know if you have alignment or sighting errors that can be easily remedied if you only knew what they were? With the Angles Challenge 101 game, we track and report on your misses. Much can be learned from a few simple statistics. We check first whether you have a pattern of missing more by overcutting or undercutting. Ideally, your misses are equally one way or the other, unless you're strategically shooting the miss on the pro side, as is recommended by many. If you are not symmetric, that has many possible causes. It's best to first rule out aiming problems so that you can identify any stroke or alignment or visual or perceptual issues. An easy way to do this is to shoot known shots with known aims and to also do this at different shot speeds. Start with just shooting straight in shots and the 30 degree cut both to the left and to the right. Each has an exact known aim, center ball or the outside edge. Then expand to other angles, especially to thin cuts where many perceptual and stroke flaws manifest. This is best done with a training aid such as the aim right. If you have problems here, then you know to work your stance, pre-shot routine, and stroke. If this isn't your issue, it's probably your perception or your aiming. But it's not enough to just look at the overall balance of overcut versus undercut. We also check these separately on cuts to the left and cuts to the right. With this data, we can consider several more issues. If you consistently overcut or undercut in both cut directions, the problem is likely one or more of these, lack of knowing how to aim the shot, or an incorrectly learned sight picture, fear of not cutting enough, or stroke steering to help cut the shot that leads to overcutting. Learn to always shoot straight and confidently at a precise target, just like that cue ball into the corner pocket shot we described at the beginning. And trust in the cue stick to deliver now that you've done a good setup. And if you don't know the correct aim, I have several tools to help. The Angles Challenge 101 game will show you the correct shot picture, both standing and down on the shot, for up to 32 cut angles into all pockets and including back cuts. And it will teach you to estimate those angles along the way so you can begin to know which learned shot picture to use. And the Aim Right training tool allows you to set up these exact known aims on the practice table along with its multiple aiming aids. You can also easily set up a cue ball at the ghost ball position and study that view. And then easily move to different locations or cut angles and work your various problem shots. Now, there's some other information you can get from the data. A stance vision offset error can be detected by a pattern that favors left or right cuts. First, are cuts in one direction the ones most commonly missed? This can be related to your eye position relative to the cue stick where your vision center is offset and favors one cut direction perception over the other. I strongly advise practicing cuts in both directions 
to identify all manner of stance, alignment, vision, and stroke flaws related to the lack of symmetry in pull shooting. Aimright training is great for this, and the Angles Challenge 101 game is designed to have you shoot all the angles and in both directions. And whatever angles you miss, you'll see more of, so you can practice that more and learn faster. Another thing to look for beyond equal misses in both directions is an overall offset of hitting sh shots too much in one direction. Confused? Let me explain. This flaw of mine became startlingly clear to me recently. I was playing the Angles Challenge 101 game and noticed a pattern in the stats. I played more racks and the pattern persisted even more racks and it still persisted. I made it seem very real and not random chance. The pattern was that on cuts to the right, overcuts predominated. On cuts to the left, undercuts predominated. What does this mean? This is a pattern of consistently hitting offset to the right. Then I realized that in shooting spot shots on the practice table, I had previously noted the same pattern of misses, but I struggled to fix it because I didn't know the cause. Wow, the same flaw in both the computer game and on the table. That means it's not a stroke or stance or grip or elbow problem, but is some type of perceptual or visual issue. And I should be able to learn to overcome it at home with the angle challenge game. Cool, it's too soon to know, but I'm hopeful. In real pool, the first suggestion for such a flaw is that the player is offset to the left or right, either entirely and or perhaps the cue stick in relation to the cue ball. An off-center strike on the cue ball creates squirt, swerve, and unexpected throw and unexpected misses. Do the stripe without wobble check and Mike Massey has a Q-tip cover that identifies every off-center hit by causing a miscue. And the third eye trainer can help you identify center ball before the hit and retrain your perception. Well, in the Angles Challenge game, the cue stick is perfectly aligned to the center of the cue ball. So my problem might be head tilt or perceptual. Head tilt can be experimented with and the brain can be trained. Maybe, or, well, I can hope. So, there you have it. Some tools and techniques to identify aiming flaws and fix them. Thumbs up if you learned something or think others would. Email me for product inquiries. Thanks for watching.